What's going on YouTube family? It's your boy Mike Macklin aka Money Mike the financial Thanos because I'm snatching my fingers and I'm turning your financial problems to dust. Hey I want to welcome y'all to the channel. Definitely appreciate y'all coming through supporting your boy. Hey if it's your first time jumping on or if it's, if it's your hundredth go ahead and do me a huge favor and go ahead and subscribe to this channel and also hit the post notification bell so you know exactly when I'm dropping new content. And if you enjoy what I'm doing, please also go ahead and hit that like button and leave a comment below. So today what I want to do, um, I want to talk to my business owners or my potential business owners, people who are out there looking to possibly start a business. I'm getting a lot of questions lately on kind of what the process is to start a business. So kind of real quick, I want to talk about a few steps in getting started and then I'm going to actually um, actually hone in into an actual question I was asked specifically. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this thing. Yep. So first and foremost, in order to get started with a business, there's a few things that you're going to want to do. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and get yourself incorporated, meaning you need to get yourself a LLC, which is a limited liability company. What this does is it serves as a way for you to separate yourself as a business owner from the personal side of your um, transactions. This is a also a way to protect your personal assets. Um, most businesses, this is how they do. As you can see, I am an LLC myself um, because I want to separate myself. Now, after you get the LLC, what you're going to want to do is get yourself an EIN number, which is short for employer identification number. And all this is, is basically like a social security number for your business. Again, it's just another way to separate yourself. Now, after that, what you're going to want to do is get yourself a business bank account. You get your business bank account because again, it's all about separating yourself. When you're in business, you have to separate yourself from your personal side because you're going to want to start to move into establishing business credit and things of that sort. And you don't want your personal name. You don't want your social security number. You don't want any of that tied to those things. So that is kind of the grassroots, how to get yourself started. Now, most businesses, in order to thrive and survive, to grow and things like that, you're going to next want to get your hands on some capital. Well, this is where a lot of businesses have trouble. And this is where I want to kind of start to hone in. Um, because what you want to do now, now that you're in business, you got yourself established. Now what you want to start looking to do is get yourself some business credit where now you're getting access to other people's money so that you can start doing things like marketing, promoting, um, maybe um, getting yourself equipment for your business, things of that sort. And you don't want to go into business using your money. Again, you want to separate and also you want to leverage money. So in order to get credit, you're going to have to build business credit. So now this actually allows me to segue into the actual question that I was asked. Now, forgive me for looking at this, but um, real quick, basically the question what asked was, what is a DUNS number? What is a DUNS number? So today that is what we're going to talk about specifically in detail. So to find out about that, we're actually going to go to dnb.com and we're going to explain exactly what a DUNS number is. All right, all right, all right. So now to help us explain what a Dunn's number is, what I went and done is I actually went on to Dunn and Bradstreet's website, which is dnb.com. So now what you're going to want to do on dnb.com, let's actually talk about what a Dunn's number is. Okay, so what is a Dunn's number? The Dunn and Bradstreet Dunn's number is a unique nine digit identifier for businesses. This number is assigned once our patented identity resolution process, part of our Dunn's right methodology, identifies a company as being unique from any other in the Dunn and Bradstreet data cloud. The Dunn's number is, a, is used as the starting point for any company's live business identity, the most comprehensive and continually updated view of any company in the data cloud. Dunn's numbers are often referred 
by lenders and potential business partners to help predict the reliability and or financial stability of the company in question. DUNS, which stands for Data Universal Numbering System, is used to maintain up-to-date and timely information on more than hundreds of millions of global businesses. The DUNS number also enables identification of relationships between corporate entities, hierarchies, and linkages. Another key element of live business industry and commercial risk assessment practices. Now, the next question is why do I need a DUNS number, which is very applicable to this situation. The DUNS number is used around the world to identify and access information on businesses. A DUNS number identifies a company's Dun and Bradstreet business credit file, which may include firmographic data, company name, address, phone number, etc., corporate family relationships, headquarters, branches, subsidiaries, etc., and scores and ratings that assess different financial health indicators. Taken all together, this profile of information is called the Dun and Bradstreet Live Business Identity. Potential partners and lenders can request a business credit report about your business using your Dun's number or other business identifiers. Equally, you can use the Dun's number to access the same information about any company which you might work wish to work with. Because of its universal recognition and unique assignment, the DUNS number can also serve as a primary data key within an organization's master data management architecture. In this manner, the DUNS number and the connected live business identity data enables a single source of truth in the capture and storage of information related to a company's customers, partners, and suppliers. Consider Dun and Bradstreet's unique live business identity a dynamic, a dynamic, excuse me, descriptor of nearly every business on earth, enabling reciprocal business relationship insight. The information in your Dun and Bradstreet credit report comes from the live business identity of your company, enabling informed decisions about whether or not to work with your company and to what extent or under what term. Okay, okay, okay. So long story short here, the Dunn's number is basically your business's credit. It's, it's equivalent of the personal side of your credit. This is how your business is identified and it shows your, um, the basically the risk level of your business. It's, again, the short version of it is it's your business credit. So consider this like your unique business identifier and this number is what's going to be used not only to identify your company, but to also talk about the credit worthiness. Well, why is this important? Well, this is important because, again, if you want to begin leveraging business credit, you're going to have to establish that that business credit account and get that Dunn's number. So after you've established your LLC, after you've uh, got your EIN, your employee identification number, which is something different than the Dunn's number and then you've actually got a business bank account, then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and get this Dunn's number. The Dunn's number, again, is like your credit rating. So now, once your credit rating gets to where it needs to be, now you have access to business credit. And like I said, the, the real strategy of business is you don't want to use your money. You want to use what's called leverage. You want to get other people's money. And that is how your business goes and grows. Hey, I hope you guys got value from this. I definitely, definitely appreciate everybody who watched. Um, just real quick, I am a personal financial coach and I do also help people to establish business credit. So, hey, if you want to get in touch with me, my information is here on the screen, my phone number, as well as my website, moneymike313.com. I am a personal financial coach more than happy to help you with your finances but we can also talk about the business side as well hey this has been mike macklin aka money mike bringing you guys another money question hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to hit that like button comment below with any questions you may have and also um share this and i appreciate everybody who's viewing me and as always i love you god loves you he smiles when he sees you and he sees you all the time, so he's always smiling. So why aren't we? Hey, y'all have a great one. Y'all make sure y'all 
hit that subscription and post notification so y'all can catch me on the next one. Until then, y'all stay safe out there. God bless you all. Gone.